what is up? This is Matthew Davis Media once again. Welcome back to another monthly vlog. Alright, it's the beginning of February and... Wait a minute. Are we seriously already in February? I mean, it's been over a month already since Christmas, so... Oh my god. Just... Eh. Just imagine we're probably going to be in June next week or... But, uh, anyways, um, yeah, starting off the monthly vlog, I'm actually gonna start pretty strong, because I'm actually gonna be trying out something that I never thought I would actually try, it's, it's, a kid's drink, good to grow, the reason why I'm trying this is because, well, they released one with Bluey, it took me forever, I actually wanted to find one of these, um, I wasn't sure how I was gonna do it, because I wanna hold on to the bottle, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna drink out of it, um, and then I'm going to, uh, mm, save it, so, but anyways, let's get this open. Um, yes, I do have the bingo one downstairs, so, like, uh, I don't, I can't imagine, you know, kids just, uh, you know, buying this, and this, once they're done with it, they just throw it away. So, am I doing this right? Am I getting the... Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. I'm already starting off strong here. I can't even get the thing open. Ah, I see the top comes off. So then I can save it. Um, yeah, and the the thing, it's uh, yeah, it's covered up. So, anyways, it's already two minutes. I'm already wasting too much time. But yeah, that's actually not too bad. I can see why kids drink this. So I know I skipped a day on on, uh, on, on the vlog, but uh, something occurred yesterday, and I, I I didn't really feel like adding in, in adding in another entry. It's kind of a long story, but uh, yeah. So I mentioned in my last uh, vlog that um, I was going to my mom's place a lot, and honestly, I. I think that's actually going to be happening a lot more often now. Um, I might make a video, I might be making a video on this, like a in-depth video on this, like I might do another chat with Matt, but you know, it's, it, it might already be out, but it, it's going to, that, that video w would have already been out, so yeah, but I don't know, it's just something, something's been occurring at my new place. And, uh, it's at the point where I really need to find a new one, so, but, whatever, I'm not gonna go full into this, because I may, I may have already made a video of this, and you guys already know what I mean. Also, rest in peace, Carl Weathers. Um, I haven't seen that much of his work, but he was beloved, so I'm just gonna point out right now, so you guys won't say, uh, why didn't you mention that? Like, I do care about situations like this, so... Rest in peace. Yeah. Oh, Leela, what you doing? What you doing, Leela? Yo, you watch my laptop? You're just watching nothing on my laptop. Just my my old background that I should kind of change since it's very old. So I went to Argyle uh, with my mom. I thought it was... I don't, I don't know. It wasn't anything super big. My mom liked it. I didn't really care for it that much. Uh, but I've been playing Persona 3 Reloaded on Game Pass. I want to play as much of that as possible because God only really knows how long it's going to be on Game Pass because uh, Persona 5, 4, and uh, the uh, other version of Persona 3 weren't on Game Pass for too terribly long, maybe a couple months. So, yeah, I just want to play as much as possible. I've already played like 11 hours and I've just been playing nonstop because I'm really getting into it. Uh, but, yeah, but before I do that again, I'm going to the gym. All right, so the plan is I'm moving out of my place, and I'm going to be staying back here for a little bit. My stuff, I'm going to keep that in uh, in boxes because I'm not going to I'm not I'm not moving back in. It's just I'm going to be staying here until I can find a new place, and we're we're working on finding me a new place at the moment. Um, there are just stuff that that's ha that happened at my place. It's just. I really need to get to a new place because I had a great time uh, when I first started living there. But you know, um, there are inc 
there, I, I, I really don't want to get into all that. I might have made a video on this. I might be just, yeah. This honestly might not be that good of a vlog because, you know, I've been struggling quite a bit this month. But, yeah, I'm just going to ignore that and go to the gym because I need to go to the gym a lot more often and uh, tone my body more because, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I have to do other than just cardio, you know. So I did go to the gym last night. I also, uh, I also just... I also, I also just went this morning, mainly just because I wanted to see, because yesterday it was super crowded, probably the most crowded I've ever been at the gym. So then again, I've been going to a different gym that's closer to this place than my uh, previous place, but um, yeah, I, I just, I just want to sink in as much time as Persona 3 Reload as possible. Then again, I need to start moving my uh, stuff out, also I'll be looking at an apartment later, so... Yeah, I'm still not 100% sure. Uh, we're going to be, like, searching for apartments, but I, uh, hopefully it'll be, uh, like, I don't know how long it's going to be. Hopefully not, not too terribly long. Um, but, yeah, I'm still really digging uh, this remake that they did, that that uh, Atlas has done with uh, Persona 3. It is so good. The graphics, it feels like a new game. I mean, I never played the original version, but this version is so good. I highly recommend it. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, yes, you can pet Koromaru. God, I wish you could pet Morgana in Persona 5. Holy shit, you just acted like Sith from Dark Souls. So apparently a kid named Ken is a part of the team, and he uses a Persona as well. Let me just remind you, the way they, uh, the way they summon their Personas is shooting themselves in the head. Yeah. The fact that a kid is shooting himself in the head just <sighs> like that that is quite disturbing. Just watch. Just <laughs> you see that? That's disturbing and uh just Yeah, I should just uh, I should just put that out there. Then again, Koromaru doesn't shoot himself in the head. Um but you know what that that, that that's a good thing. That that actually makes sense because nobody wants to see that happen to a dog. Um, that was also the reason why I'm muting this is because, you know, the music, uh, can, it can be copyright infringement. By the way, it's like 4 a.m. I have to work later. Not to mention, I have to go to the gym for, well, I don't have to go to the gym. I just, I just want to go to the gym. Uh, but, yeah, I think I might be starting to fit my costume a little bit better. Anyways, um, this upcoming weekend, um, I know Lisa Frankenstein is coming out and, uh, yeah, I am going to see that. I also want to see the re-release of uh, Turning Red. Well, it's not really a re-release because it's its first uh, theatrical debut, but also my sister's birthday is coming up, so I'm pretty much going to be very busy this weekend. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm just trying to, trying to plan it as much as possible because I haven't uh, really done that much in this vlog other than, uh, uh, you know, just mention the fact that I'm moving out, but, yeah. Oh, look at that sleepy boy. What that sleepy boy doing? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and look at that sleepy old lady, too. Yeah. No meow from you? Usually you always meow. Come on. Hmm. So it's my sister's birthday, she's 20 years old, I cannot believe how old she's gotten. Uh, and um, if you're wondering why I am positioned like this, well, I'll tell you in a minute. So, uh, she's going to be doing dinner at P.F. Chang's and, uh, you know, she moved out, so, uh, yeah. But I've been, I found a new place too, um, I'm not sure if it's going to be official yet, I have a feeling it might be, because it's everything that I need. Um, I've been looking for a two-bedroom apartment, a place where I can uh, keep my cat. And uh, something that's much very close to my work. And it is. It's like three, two minutes away. So, yeah. I think uh, we know exactly what we're going to pick. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm in this position. Yeah. Um, I did not mean to shave my beard off. Or, yeah. So, I got a new razor because my other one was at my house. Um... And I just couldn't wait any longer. It's been a week since I trimmed my beard. And I accidentally, when I got the new razor, the thing was way too short. So it just shaved off the part of the beard. that. So I just decided, you know, I'm just going to shave all of it off. 
and just and just keep the mustache for now. I feel like I I'm I might be missing some spots, but yeah, I'm I I don't plan to do my next review until probably Valentine's Day, because that's probably when I'm going to see Lisa Frankenstein. So uh, yeah, but I just I just I'm honestly not happy about this because yeah, it's been I haven't sh I haven't like seen my actual face like this part in like since my 21st birthday yeah because that's why i just i decided to keep this so yeah this this honestly just weird i look like um i i don't know i feel like some i feel like a guy that works at an italian restaurant but i don't work at an italian restaurant that's that's kind of what it looks like i i it feels like i'm from brooklyn or something you know i was just thinking to myself not too long ago, I kind of look like Borat. Don't you think? Like, I could just dress up like Borat. <laughs> wah, wah, way wah. <laughs> King of the castle, king of the castle. King of the castle. Go do this, go do this. King of the castle. <laughs> well, it's the year of the dragon. And I actually was born on Year of the Dragon, or the Year of the Year of the Dragon, back in 2000. Um, anyways, I just saw the theatrical event of Turning Red. Such a good experience, and yes, I do still think it's a good movie. I just like how, you know, it has so, so many risks for Pixar to just put on screen. And they're just absolutely not afraid to put it. And pretty much that entire movie is a gigantic metaphor for a period. So... Yeah, I get why most audiences or some audiences didn't just thought it was absolutely horrendous, but but I definitely see where Pixar is going for. And, you know, I'll still take it over Cars 2 any day, and I do think it's better than Lightyear and Elemental, just due to the fact that it has a crazy concept and they were just not afraid to do to put what they put on screen and actually made sense for its PG rating. I feel like this movie earns more of its PG rating than films like Inside Out did because this movie has some minor swear words and uh, elements that you really wouldn't see in kids' movies today. So that's what I like most about it. Anyways, I'm headed off to the gym. First, I need to get my energy. Borat needs his energy. So I'm just out on a morning walk in the neighborhood. It's been a while since I've actually walked around this neighborhood, haven't I? And it's in the rain, and I like the rain in my Demon Slayer hoodie. Um, I know the Super Bowl's tonight, but I honestly could care less because that's not really my thing. But, you know, uh, um, but I guess uh, it's the trailers and stuff that I'm most excited about because... You know, they always have those big commercials that they show during the Super Bowls, but mostly the movie trailers are the ones that I look forward to the most. I don't actually watch it, I just wait till they, they're put on the internet, so that way I know. I think Deadpool 3 is uh, supposed to be coming up, uh, the trailer for that, so uh, yeah. But I'm going to be going to uh, my house uh, to get some of my stuff because we're going to slowly start moving myself out. And uh, they're going to be remaining in storage in my house or my mom's house till I move into my new place which should be sh which should be soon this new place I looked at looks very promising so yeah I'm I'm really looking forward to it so this is the day I start moving out and this isn't even half of the stuff that I need to take out <sighs> like oh my god we're gonna we're gonna need to make at least five trips so we weren't going to get all of them in one day we're, we're going to get other helpers to help us out. So yesterday, um, earlier in the day, I did manage to beat uh, or finish up uh, Persona 3 Reload. Such a good game. I spent over 50 hours, which might be uh, a little shorter than uh, I anticipated since it usually takes around 70 or 80 uh, hours. But I just, you know, I, I didn't really want to get like super frustrated with the game so I played on the lowest difficulty and just wanted to engage with the story and the characters that's what I've done with uh five and four so yeah but anyways um Deadpool trailer came out like I anticipated and also twisters oh boy yeah we're gonna have a lot of sequels I mean they're already talking about making Jurassic World 4 I see 
I have absolutely no idea how that's even going to work. It probably isn't, but... Yeah, but right now I'm headed to the gym. Usually I've been heading to the gym, like, in the mornings. I've been going to the gym, like, every single day since I started uh, coming back here. Um, right now it's just so I can fit in my costume. I mean, I'm... I mean, I fit in it fine, it's just I want to fit in it better, so... Yeah, that's mostly my focus. I mean, yeah. So it's Valentine's Day, and um, as you can see, my beard is starting to grow back a little bit. So, yeah. Um, I'm about to head to the gym again. And in terms of how I'm going to be celebrating, well... I am going to be seeing Lisa Frankenstein. Madame Web also came out. Though I keep forgetting that that just came out. But since this movie has slightly better reviews... I'm seeing that first. Also, it makes sense. It's Lisa Frankenstein. It's about her trying to, you know, make her own boyfriend. So, yeah, that would make sense. But, I don't know. I'm curious. I'm kind of curious about it. Oh, my sweet, sweet little babies. Yeah. I'm never leaving you out of my sight again. You're stuck with me forever. Yeah, you are. You might be too, you might be going with me too, because, uh, my, hopefully my new place is I can bring new two cats. So, yeah, yeah, that little baby. So I was at work, but I was able to get out early, so I thought to myself, hmm, because I'm getting out early, I could see Madam Web, or... I could just stay home and play Liza P now that I'm done with Persona 3 Reload. And yeah, I, I'm i making the smart decision and just playing Liza P. I would rather die over and over than probably spend time at a movie that I'm probably not going to like. I mean, I was going to see it anyway, just uh, I'm in absolutely no rush to see it. So yeah, I'll probably just see that Saturday. But in the meantime... Time to get through this Pinocchio Souls-like game. That's really good. I, it, 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 it It's honestly even getting better as I play it. So, we were supposed to meet up uh, for dinner with some folks tonight, but uh, we're actually going to do that tomorrow. So, I could have just uh, killed some time going to see Madame Web, get that off my list. But I think I'm going to wait till Tuesday to see that movie. I know you can't see my face very well, but... um. Yeah, the reason why I'm just going to hold back on that movie is just due to the fact I I, I really don't want to see it. But because it's an, I say a lot that I'll see new major releases, specifically superhero ones, because, you know, those are the ones that always get the most attention. Uh, and I'm sure you guys just want to see me just hate on a movie because that's usually all that uh, the internet cares about is just negativity. I mean... Yeah, I I doubt that the movie's going to be good, but um yeah, just Yeah, I'm just going to hold back on it because I don't think it's going to be worth it. So my brother's birthday is today. It's funny how my brother and my sister both have uh, birthdays on the same month. And uh what exactly did we do? Well, my brother said we should wait a little bit to meet up before uh we see him for his birthday. And I spent most of the afternoon at the hospital. Uh, there's something going on with my, uh, like, usually I've been getting very dizzy, like, every time I, like, get up and, uh, like, every time I get up from, like, a chair or something, it's causing me to get very dizzy, like, I'm about to pass out. Um, I had to leave work early because of it, so, uh, yeah, but, I don't know, it's just due to the fact that because I've been working out so much, I've been trying to, you know, be careful with what I eat. But apparently I haven't been eating as much as I'm supposed to. Like, I've been watching the calories and all that. Now, I don't want you guys to be scared because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be fine. It's just, I gotta, you know, it's just, I've, I've made, I've made it really far. Like, I'm at, I'm at over 90 pound, uh, 90 pound loss. It's just... You know, I do worry about gaining all that back because I did gain all of, it, all of it back before, but, you know, I've just been cutting out the major stuff, but, um, yeah, just don't worry about it. I'll be fine. It's just, uh, we'll, we'll, I know exactly how, um, you know, this is going to play out, so, yeah, just, 
yeah, I'm, I'm adding this because I've been skipping out on a few days, but you know, you know, I could have done, I could, you know, I could have done, you know, we could have waited for the hospital, but you know, like we could have waited tomorrow. I could have just relaxed, but I didn't. But I'm sure waiting at the hospital would have been way more fun than Madam Web, and I haven't even seen that yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it is. So in case you can't tell, my beard has grown back. I mean, yeah, I think you can probably tell. All right, it's Tuesday, and if you're wondering, no, I did not see Madam Webb. I had another doctor's appointment. That's okay. That's way more important. Tomorrow, I know for sure I'm going to be seeing Madam Webb. Because usually I've been seeing movies late on Wednesdays now, so... Yeah, but I'm really anxious to get more of my stuff. I, I would... I think I can say I'm almost done. I just need to get the arcade machine, exercise bike, a bunch of uh, shelves. Um, like there were some on the wall, like a couple on the wall. I still need to get my TV, and I did start bringing in my movies, but I have a whole bin of movies that uh, I wouldn't even say is a full shelf of the movies that were at my house. So, yeah, we're going to need like 10 more of those, but... Yeah, I'm still anxious about this apartment thing. I'm still not 100% sure if I'm going to get it yet. I mean, I know I am going to get an apartment, just... Yeah, it's just... I don't know. I, I didn't have to leave so early. It's just... I have my personal reasons. I'm not entirely... I, I, here's the thing. I want to make a chat with Matt, given this whole, you know, moving situation in. But before I do that, I want to know for sure if I am going to be uh, moving out. Or in that case, getting the new apartment, uh... So yeah, I won't have the Chat with Matt video out until I know for sure when I'm going to be getting my new place. Like an actual date and what exactly it'll look like because I need a two-bedroom uh, apartment and an apartment that, uh, you know, for my cat that, my, that I can bring my pet to. Because, yeah, I just miss living with cats. Sure, it's a chore, but, you know, it's something you need because, and, um, you know... I have so much stuff that I'm bringing over. I don't really want to bring them in upstairs to my big room, even though that would make the logical sense. But it's just due to the fact that my cats have made such a big mess up there. That's kind of embarrassing for me to put them up there. And, you know, with all the stuff that I got, I just don't want them messing with all that. So um, my sister did move out. So she's letting me put my stuff into her room. I, I just feel bad that I have to leave them in there for like a month or hopefully just a month because just looking at these it's depressing just seeing them in there when they honestly shouldn't be there it's kind of like jesse from toy story 2 how you know she was always afraid of being alone in the dark and she just stayed in storage for a really long time i wonder if that's exactly how my stuff is feeling right now but don't worry hopefully it won't be that long all right so after a week of waiting well, I wasn't really waiting, I was just delaying. I am going to go see Madame Webb. Okay. So, yeah. I'm... I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting this off my list, really. Uh, but, on the plus side, though, we finally got the trailer for the Elden Ring DLC, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Unfortunately... We have to wait four months for it to be released. Well, that gives me plenty of time to get back into Elden Ring. Or try to, anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm in my sister's room and I'm just going to show you most of my stuff that has been bought back with me. Uh, we have to try to get all of it before, um, before Friday. Uh, so yeah, after the movie we're going to go get more of my stuff. But yeah, all this stuff has just been hanging in my sister's room. Uh, yeah, most of it is just bluey stuff. Yeah, um, for now, I'm just leaving these on the bed, so it would feel a little less depressing for those plushies to just not be in those bins. The muffin one has moved a little bit. Okay, but yeah. <sighs> Got my posters, um... Yeah, I got my, my shirts, my clothes. Most of these don't even fit me anymore because 
of the amount of weight I've been losing, so, yeah. So, yeah. It was a really good idea to delay uh, seeing Madam Web. Because it wasn't good. Not even close to good. Thankfully, though, um, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I heard that's supposed to be really good. And that comes out next week. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely uh, looking forward to playing that when it comes out. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, we're going to try to get uh, the rest of my stuff from the house uh, today and tomorrow because uh, there's a strict limit. Because my mom's going to be headed out of town uh, this Sunday and uh, she won't be back till Friday. So, yeah, I, I need to get as much help because I still don't have my license yet. I know that's it's crazy to think I'm 23 years old. Well, guess what? Lady Gaga didn't get her license until she was like 30, I believe. I don't know. Way older than I am right now. So, yeah, it's it's not really that big of a deal. I have friends that don't even have a license. But it is a goal. I really need to get my license. So, yeah. But, you know, it, that that's all personal matters. But, yeah, I do have... Quite a bit of goals I need to accomplish. My weight loss goal, I think, is nearly completed, so I don't really have to worry about that. Oh, yeah. Also, Doom Part 2 is getting a load amount of uh, praise right now from critics, so I have a feeling next week is going to be a good media week. I know this isn't Celsius, it's Gatorade. Taking a little break from Celsius and just... I mean, yeah, it has more calories, but, you know, you can, it can be bad to have too much of the same thing, but, hey, Gatorade's still good. So, not too long ago, I was finally able to beat Liza P. Oh, man, the, su such a, the game just gets better the more I play it. I mean, when I first started it up, I was all like, okay, it's basically just Dark Souls and Bloodborne, but the more you... The story progresses, and the more characters you interact with, the more that there is a lot more than just being another Souls like. So you know what? It, it was really engaging. The final boss, oh my god, was probably the most times I died during a boss fight, but it was it was truly worth it in the end. In terms of the ending, I got I got the good ending. It's not the best ending, like the true ending, but you know what? I I was still satisfied. Honestly, you could get the evil ending by not fighting the final boss, but not you know what? I, I actually do want to put some effort into my playthrough, so, yeah. Um, I'm a, I am expecting another game from Gamefly. Hopefully I'll be able to play it before Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, because I know I'm going to be busy on that game. Alright, so I'm trying out Tekken 8. Uh, this is my very first Tekken game. I know absolutely nothing about the franchise. All, all I know is that people said that this game is absolutely fantastic, so, uh, yeah, I'm trying it out. Running it from Gamefly, I changed my... Uh, shipping address to over here because, you know, I'm moving out of that place. I have to get the rest of my stuff tomorrow. It's going to be an absolute hassle. But I guess while I'm waiting, I'll just uh, give this game a shot, see how it is. Uh, of course, it turns out I gotta wait till the story mode is finished installing before I can play it. Uh, why does every fighting game have to have this? Or any game, really? Well, Today is the last time I am ever going to that house. I'm going to be getting the rest of my stuff. It's probably going to be uh, the most I've gotten from out of there in terms of moving my stuff out. But yeah, it's going to be a little sad knowing the fact that I won't be living there anymore. But I, I am anxious a bit about getting my new place because I'm still not sure if it's confirmed. Um, I mean, I, th I think it is going to be, I got all the paperwork filled out, so hopefully I should be able to move in as soon as possible. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, sometime in the beginning of April, that's what I've been told, um, will be the latest I'll be moving into my next new place, so, yeah, again, I'll have my, uh, as soon as I know the date for when I'm going to be moving into my new place, uh, then that's where I'll make the video talking about my new place because when I did it the first time it was official so I knew it was official so when I know this will be official again so yeah also I finally started playing Tekken 8 after that long update of putting the campaign into uh, the game 
and the other modes, it's great. I've been having a really fun time with it. Though I'm going to take my time with this one. I know it's a game I'm renting from Gamefly, but the story mode isn't supposed to be too long. And I do want to try out the other modes. And, uh, yeah, just, um, besides Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, um, which I did pre-order, comes out in just uh, five more days. So, yeah, I just want to be able to return the game uh, closer to that date. That way, when the next game that I'm renting comes in, it won't be during while I'm playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. All right, we got all my movies from the house. We got the shows. We got almost all my Bluey stuff. All that we need, uh, all that we got uh, in terms of Bluey stuff left is the table. We got the shelves. And uh, we also got my exercise bike and my Ninja Turtle arcade cabinet. I honestly had absolutely no reason to bring that since I never used it. But, you know, it's cool for decoration and it will look a lot better in my new place when I do get that. So, yeah. Just two more trips. We're going to get the bike and the arcade machine last. First, we're going to go to dinner with family. Then we're going to go back. Then I got to return the keys to my room in the house. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, depressing, but things will lighten up. I mean, it's raining right now. So, yeah, it's a... Yeah, definitely, uh, it's definitely in the mood since it's uh, kind of sad. We're in front of Dillard's because my mom needed to run in and get something real quick. All right, this is it. One last shot of the house. Yep, I'm certainly going to miss this place. So, yeah, I'm going to, I got to take uh, that table, that shelf, that other shelf. Uh, that's going to stay. Uh, those are going to stay. So, yeah, but. Farewell place. It was fun while it lasted. So I originally said that Saturday would be the last day that I would ever have to go to my place, but um, after dinner, um, it, it got really late, and my cats are fighting over there. Um, so yeah, and we already had so much stuff in my mom's car, so we had to take that out. So um, yeah. Sometime this week will be the last uh, day. I already gave back my uh, room key. Once I'm done with the uh, getting those last two things, and they're the really big things, which are just two things, I'm hoping that uh, they can all fit in one car. I doubt it, but it wouldn't hurt to try. So, yeah, it will be sometime this week. Also, I realized when I pre-ordered Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I realized it was the address to my other house. I didn't realize that until a few days ago, so I had to change it to this. Hopefully, it won't take even longer. But if it does, I'll continue to slowly play more Tekken 8. Hell, if I finish the campaign, I can just do more of the additional stuff. Okay, the campaign was way shorter than I anticipated. I expected maybe like four hours, but it was around maybe three, two and a half hours. But I guess people just came here for the additional content. But still, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I did play on easy because, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a, I try to be casual. But yeah, uh, really fun. I cannot wait to play the other modes. Um, so yeah, I, I could definitely say I like this more than Mortal Kombat 1. Not, not to say Mortal Kombat 1 was was bad it's just you know it uh i feel like this has a much better package for it oh so uh each character has a different episode after okay so i finished up all the the single player content for uh tekken 8 it turns out that um the reason why i didn't 100 percent the entire story is because i had to do the arcade quest which is kind of like the the um, story mode for Street Fighter VI, just um, no RPG elements, and it's way shorter, so... Yeah, but I did all the single-player content. Um, I'll, 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 I'll probably return the game tomorrow, um, though I don't want to leave it out in the rain, because it's going to be raining since uh, till tomorrow, and it's going to be a problem, because i got to get the rest of my stuff... Um, and we're going to be carrying it out in the rain, so 
I don't know, it's still complicated, and I realized there was actually another item I left behind, so I gotta remember to try to get that, too. Yeah, just, it's almost over. The moving out situation, it's almost over, so I can handle it. Well, <laughs> my plans are ruined. Because someone doesn't want to get off of me. And you don't really do this, the old lady. Old lady Sam Sam. You're lucky I at least don't have to go into work. You know? You know good? If you hear that crunching noise, it's my other cat. The food. Yeah, she sticks her tongue out a lot. Just due to the fact that she lost her bottom teeth, so she has nothing that can uh, keep it in her mouth. So, yeah. Well, she got off me, so now I can do my plans. Which include finishing up Season 7 of Rick and Morty. I also know that the new uh, live-action Avatar is out, um, which I heard is supposed to be pretty decent. Way better than uh, that M. Night Shyamalan thing that I, that I don't think I should bring up because we just all want to forget that even happened. But, yeah, as far as I know, this one's a little bit more faithful, and uh, it's... Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'll probably just stick with the with the original because most of the time when something's animated, it's uh, it just doesn't uh, uh, the source material. If it's done in live action when it's already animated, doesn't really fully do it enough justice. But yeah, I mean Disney's trying has tried to been doing that though. I have been pretty nice to the remakes, and um, I still stand by that I think the live action Jungle Book is better than the original. That's just my opinion. In fact, uh, you know, there actually were some really good uh, live-action remakes that Disney has done. I think I think that and Sil Cinderella and Peach Dragon, but... Yeah, um, but honestly, Lion King gets way worse the more I think about it, but... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, yes, I, I really enjoyed the one, uh, the live-action One Piece, um... But I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, just... I don't know. Uh, apparently, I just got a notification saying that my copy of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has been shipped. And the game's not even out yet, so... Good to know that it'll be out by tomorrow. And... Because I was worried when I pre-ordered... I pre-ordered it almost at the last minute. Um, Though it was a few days ago, so almost... Or probably not even... Well, the point is I pre-ordered it. I didn't want to pre-order it at a time where everybody was pre-ordering it because... I know the game was going to be very popular and tons of people were going to play it and probably get the physical version. I knew it would be very hard for me to find it in stores, especially since Walmart said that they were going to stop uh, stop uh, putting games in their stores. Like, that, that literally just... Can we just make physical media an option? Because it should always be an option. Like, it's just... Yeah, but... I'm I'm glad that I won't have to wait much longer. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I could have just replayed the original version, so that way I'll get a full idea, like the uh, the first uh, of uh, the original first uh, remake. But uh, but yeah, I'll yeah, I'm still really looking forward to it. All right, it's that time of the vlog where we wrap things up for the month. And, uh, yeah, it's sleep day, so I'm ending the vlog a little late. Because, you know, every four years we have to have a leap day. But, yeah. Anyways, I know, uh, this, uh, this vlog wasn't anything as big. The only big thing was that I was moving out of my place, so... Yeah, and I don't, I still don't have an official date of, uh, moving into my new place. Yeah. Anyways, I got I do got things to look forward to today. I'm gonna be seeing Dune Part Two later this afternoon, and uh, my copy of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth uh, comes in the mail today. So I'm hoping that comes in before I have to see the movie. Uh, but if I have to, 
but you know I might have to wait uh, to play it when I get back home and it's gonna take a really long time for it to install but I always got tomorrow so yeah but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Word out.